my presentation, I will show new data of CSF biomarkers in Alzheimer's disease. Uh, especially, I mean, the CSF biomarkers are part of routine in many centers for diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. Uh, but I know that many other centers are still um, in the process of implementation of those markers. At the meeting, I will present uh, our 10-year experience uh, with CSF biomarkers in the memory clinic. Uh, we have been uh, implementing and improving uh, these markers for early diagnosis and this way we are able to really diagnose patients in the very early stages of Alzheimer's disease. I think our experience started um, as, as many other groups using um, uh, ELISAs uh, for, uh, in research studies, uh, but over time we have these new automated platforms that have uh, provided a very good, um, minimize, have minimized the variability uh, in terms of the values that you get, and they are more accurate. And this is allowed to um, fully implement in the clinic uh, these, uh, these tests. Um, currently, we are using four markers, a beta 42, a beta 40, total tau, and phosphorylated tau. And we will show that by using those four markers, uh, we get uh, better results that uh, when we use three markers with the earliest, with the early assays. Well, I think it has been a great uh, effort in uh, harmonizing uh, across different uh, centers. Uh, there is an international program, quality control program, um, to uh, evaluate and to monitor the values uh, across different labs in the world. Uh, I think this is critical, um, but still, uh, we uh, still do not have uh, global cutoffs. So each center has to use their own cutoffs based on their own experience. Um, and as with many other tests uh, for other biomarkers, uh, we would need to to get to. to to, to find global cutoffs that everyone can use, uh, that will be more would be give more confidence to uh, people or to uh, scientists who are not that experienced with uh, CSF.